Jackbox. It's a name that conjures up learning weird stuff about your friends, cry laughing, and forgetting what time it is because you're doing just one more round. And that's why you should be excited about Party Pack 5. I'm glad to see that the Jackbox folks aren't just resting on the laurels of their previous successes. There's a lot of creative genius behind Party Pack 5. Having said that, the first game in their lineup is a remix of one of their very earliest titles. You Don't Know Jack is a trivia game that asks questions in ways that aren't straightforward. Players at the bottom can screw others over and the results are usually entertaining. Split the room is where the creativity begins. Create hypothetical scenarios and players have to vote on whether they choose one way or another. The results are often hilarious with a good dose of people pointing fingers and going, you would do what? The matches feel like they could go longer, but hey, I guess you could just hit the play with same players button. If you've ever played Mad Libs, this is the version you've always wanted. In Madverse City, players engage an opponent in a four-liner rap battle based on a prompt they'll get. Don't worry, you don't have to rap yourself because the game generates a voice that translates your text into speech. You're battling me? Well, bring in my boss. Take me on, bro. It's your loss. Hold on, now you're about to get slapped. That's what it's gonna be then! How about I just take in a nap? The results aren't perfect and the raps may not have the same rhythm you had in your head, but it's still pretty impressive and entertaining. And then there's always one. In Zeepledome, use your phone to ricochet your character around an arena to kill targets. It's a little like Angry Birds meets Space Invaders. Both great games. But to be honest, the resulting hybrid is mostly confusing and just not as satisfying as the other games in the pack. What's What's next next for Earth? Earth? Fortunately, there's Patently Stupid, which I'd buy if it was the only thing in the pack. Set up like a marketing seminar, players think of problems and then invent solutions, which they sketch on a virtual cocktail napkin. The game culminates in a presentation of the idea, which players can choose to present themselves or have the game present it for them. The inventions are so often absurd, making the presentations even more ridiculous, thus reducing the room to a bunch of cry laughers. And how much is that worth? Priceless, my friend. Absolutely priceless. I'm Dai, and this has been a summary of my review for Pretty Much Geeks. If you're wondering where to find this mecca of geekdom, we have a website and a Facebook page, so come check us out.